We're Guardians. And Guardians don't flee. They fight. What's up, YouTube? Today, I'm going to show you, well, I guess rather tell you, the easiest way to get the class item quest done. As you can see here in this video, I sped things up a bit to show you more or less where and how to do it. And if I kept it at regular speed, it would have been like 19 minutes long, so I wasn't trying to really do that. I want to also point out that I was told that if you wait to do these until after taking King Drops, you get an emblem as well. I'm not 100% sure if that's true, but I would assume that even those of us that have done it already, we would still get the emblem. But I just figured I'd throw that out there. If anybody can confirm that, let me know. I haven't seen it, but then again, I haven't really researched to look either. So Now, the easiest way to do the first quest is to go to the Dark Beyond mission and keep doing the door part over and over until you get all the kills. The major keynote here is do not kill the knight and do not cross the door through the doorway. Otherwise, you'll finish the mission and you'll have to do the beginning part all over again. Not that it's a huge hassle, but it, you know, it's a couple extra minutes you can save. It's best to just hang out somewhere in front of the steps and get the kills. And once you get the kills, I like to hang around until my super is charged and then kill myself. You could also just die and then, you know, redo it again to get your super and then die again and then rinse and repeat until you have it done. But whatever tickles your turkey on that part. For the second part, you can go to the patrol on Earth, go to the left, and go down those stairs and keep killing those three majors down there. They're the major knights, or I think they're one's a knight, and I don't I don't know what the other two are, acolytes or something. This takes a bit longer because you have to wait for your super to charge. But if you go up to the surface and kill the enemies up there, it it helps and makes it go by a little bit faster. Also, if you have a teammate, you guys can just orb feed off each other down there. And you don't have to worry about the surface enemies, because I think if you're able to kill all three of them, you get, you know, you get obviously get your seven orbs, um, and then, you know, those seven should charge your teammate, and then you can rinse and repeat, but it's seven orbs if you get, a, get all three of them at the same time, or I've done it with just getting the knight and one of the other ones, so. Once you're done with part two, part three requires you to complete a strike. The best way to do this one is to run the Devil's Lair, and depending on what your quest requires, i.e. if you need to kill three majors, you can start the strike, but go back to where you spawn on patrol and kill those three majors as you did in part two. Then go back and complete the strike as you would. If you need more or less, like an example is the Warlock's Radiance, you need to kill 25 enemies while in Radiance. Since that can be hard on such an easy strike, you can just hang out at the strike spawn and get most of them there before you actually do the strike. Uh, for me, you don't see it in the video, but it's what I did is, you know, is when we spawned in, you, I just killed all those guys right there until I got like 12, uh, yeah, I think it was like 12 to 15, I got right there, and then I went ahead and completed the strike and was able to finish the rest no problem. Um, you could easily get 10 or more inside the strike, but getting all 20 inside of an easy strike, especially if you're doing it with randoms, can be kind of difficult. This more or less applies to all subclasses, so whichever is easier for you. But anyways, that's all I have for now. I hope this was helpful, and if it was, go ahead and give it a like, and if you're not subscribed already, you probably should do that. Just saying. And thanks for watching, and as always, until next time.